on Action for Main Street. I'm Jean Ross. I'm co-president of National Nurses United, and I'm a proud member of the Minnesota Nurses Association. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Together, we form the largest union and professional association of nurses in America. You are more uh, part of more than 60 actions across the country today in 21 states, and it involves thousands of nurses and our allies. And we're here to demand that our lawmakers tax Wall Street to heal America. Yeah. Yeah. Main Street is hurting. Millions have lost their jobs, their homes, they face bankrupting medical bills, and they're jammed into overcrowded classrooms and emergency rooms. Soup kitchens and food pantries and food stamps now provide sustenance for millions more. Yes, you're live on Meanwhile, Wall Street funded politicians are intent on stealing even more from working families. We're here to stop these atrocities. Nurses uh, want you to join us across the nation in a movement for Main Street contracts to ensure that all Americans have certain things. I'm going to ask Bunny Engeldorf, our second vice president for Minnesota Nurses, and one of our VPs on the National Council, to show you, I hope most of you can see it. What we need is jobs at living wages, yeah. Yeah. equal access to quality public education, yeah. guaranteed health care, yeah. a secure retirement, thank you. Yeah. good housing and protection from hunger, yeah. safe and healthy environment, and a just taxation system yeah. where corporations and the wealthy pay their fair share. Yeah. Now, Minnesota nurses have repeatedly reached out to Congresswoman Michelle Bach. We've reached out to ask her for her support on a Wall Street transaction tax, one that will pay for the devastation that they've caused to Main Street. As of today, she has not responded to us. We are not surprised. So now we'd like to include you in a dramatized press conference where we on Main Street finally get answers from Michelle Bachman in her own words. Oh. Yay. I'm Congresswoman Michelle Bachman, and I am so excited to have my constituents here from the great 6th District of Minnesota. I will now take a few questions from the reporters. Congresswoman Bachman, do you know how many homes have been foreclosed on? in the state of Minnesota in the past few years? And where does your district rank in foreclosure? Um, well, I believe that there are about 100,000 foreclosures in Minnesota, and my district is number one. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. But yet, you voted against the amendment that would allow seniors to stay in their houses. Why? Why, Michelle? Well, I'm just not a deep thinker on all of this. Oh, honey. <laughs> oh, honey. Now, yes, you over there. Do you have a question? How do you feel about the fact that 1% of Americans own 70% of, of the assets in America? Well, I'm glad you asked because we're running out of rich people in this country. Oh. So what do you think is the solution to the wealth gap and high unemployment in your district? If we took away the minimum wage, if conceivably it was gone, we could potentially virtually wipe out unemployment completely because we would be able to offer jobs at whatever level. Oh. But wouldn't that wipe out the middle class and create a larger gap between the rich and the poor? Not all cultures are equal. So if you don't support a living wage, what do you support? Well, I'm proud of Minnesota because we're the workingest state in the country. And the reason why we are is because we have more people that are working longer hours. Yeah. We have people that are working two jobs. Yeah. Congresswoman Bachman, what can you do for the thousands of uninsured and underinsured Americans in your district to make sure they have access to good, quality, affordable health care? to buy insurance on the private market or one who has insurance that won't cover the treatment that they need. 
Aren't you, shouldn't there be guaranteed health care for all so Americans don't die because they can't afford to go to the doctor? Yeah. 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 Well, that was private health insurance and make it very difficult for those insurers to compete. Congresswoman Bachman. Yes, sir, over here. You've received more campaign contributions from health insurance and pharmaceutical companies than almost any other member of Congress. But what have you done for Main Street Americans who cannot access health care? Well, I'm proud to have voted against expanding the children's health insurance. Oh. Oh. that the government could not negotiate prescription drug prices for Medicare. Because, uh, I, for sure. I just don't believe that affordable health care has any place in the land of the free. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Congressman Bachman, how can America create more living wage jobs? Well, as a champion of the free market, I support drilling for oil in Alaska. No, no way. Oh, oh, no. No. by the huge oil companies, and we all know that corporations give everything they have to their workers. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Some suggestions are that perhaps we would see an enhancement of wildlife expansion because of the warmth of the pipeline. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> the pipeline has now become a meeting ground and a coffee flat for the caribou. Oh. <laughs> uh, Congresswoman Backman. You voted and spoken in favor of cutting Social Security and Medicare. These are the most important anti-poverty programs for our senior citizens. Yeah. Can you explain yeah. why? Oh, well, I would be happy to because what we have to do is a reorganization of all of that. Social Security and all, basically what we have to do is leave everybody else off. And we everybody off because we have to take those unfunded net liabilities off our bank sheet. Across the country are asking members of Congress to tax Wall Street, yeah. to heal Main Street. Right. Yeah. Will yeah. you support a tax on the Wall Street speculators? Um, I love freedom. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much, everybody, for coming. It's just been great. That's all the time I have today. Thank you. Yeah. What about the crop payments? Yeah. Wow. Representative Bachman really doesn't get it, does she? No. no. While she's been protecting Wall Street interests, real people in Minnesota's 6th District are suffering, along with millions of people across the nation. Nurses know an important part of healing is humor. While our press conference was a lighthearted attempt to highlight Congressman Bachman's record of siding with Wall Street, this action provides a moment to step back and realize, even though we are hurting, we can move forward if we move together. Now, nurses are standing up and calling on legislators to do the right thing for Main Street America. A Wall Street transaction tax on stock market gamblers will pay for the devastation we see on Main Street every day. With revenues from a Wall Street transaction tax, we can reclaim the American dream with good jobs health care for all, quality education, housing protection from hunger, and a secure retirement for all. Yeah. 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 Take action today with us. First, send a postcard to Congresswoman Bachman asking her to support the Wall Street tax. Kava, Amy, Tigger, Linda, we you raise your hands, please, so people can see them? Okay. They all have a supply. Now, second... I would like you to tell us where it hurts. You can share your story of economic struggles and other trauma caused by Wall Street greed. We have handy forms for this as well. Next, let's administer first aid until we can stop the bleeding. With a wall, we have miles to go, but we can win. We can win a future of dignity and security for all families and for generations to come. In that spirit, I'm going to ask Congressman Bachman 
Congresswoman Bachman to join us for a patriotic favorite of mine and uh, two other short songs. So, uh, if you look to Tigger, Amy, etc., Linda, for lyrics, we're going to be singing. Did someone say socialism? Uh, we're going to be singing This Land is My Land and two shorter ones. This land is your land. This land is, well, she thinks it's hers, but okay. this land is our land, is the patriotic song I'm thinking of. Congresswoman Bachman, will you join us in this rendition? This land is your land. This land is our land. From California to the New York Islands, from the Redwood Forest to the Gulf Stream waters, this land as I was walking a ribbon of highway, I saw above me an endless skyway. I saw below me a golden valley. This land was made for you and me. This land is your land. This land is my land. From California to the New York One more. Just one more. One more. The Main Street Medicare Victory Song. Everybody knows Battle Hymn of the Republic. I hope you know the tune. Okay, Tigger? Where'd he go? We, we rely on Medicare to keep us healthy when we're old. We will try to everything. We would like to see it full. Medicare has saved the life of folks whose numbers are unfold. Medicare is. And for the real for the real media, Jean Ross, President of National Nurses United, is here. She can take your questions now about the sure. event today. I just wanted to talk about the transaction. Um, actually, it wouldn't be on people's four hundred one k's at all. It wouldn't be on individuals. It would be on the kinds of transactions that most of us can't. So it would be derivatives, some stocks and bonds. Um, it would be a modest tax, very modest. Uh, 0.5%, and we figure if it's done right, it can bring in at least $350 billion. And so we wouldn't be talking about cuts to seriously needed social programs in this country, including a public education hospital. Of course, you know, we've always been for Medicare for all, and we'll pay um, But those kinds of things can be done. We are not broke. The money is just in the hands of fewer and fewer people. They took it, and they need to give it back. What can Michelle Bachman do? Well, Michelle Bachman could be a real leader. She could step out aside any legislator can. It doesn't matter what your party is. This is a very nonpartisan issue. If you're going to be a leader in this country, which our legislators should be, there is no reason why you can't say that a modest tax like this on speculation should, uh, should not be accepted and should not be touted, and she could put it forward as a leader. 
any of our legislators can. And we're going to be doing other actions today in the state and across the country. We'll be at the state fair this evening, and we'll be giving the same message to our DFL um, colleagues. We'll be giving it to Amy Klobuchar, to Al Franken, anybody. Ah, uh, Jean, J A N Ross, R O S. Jean, what is it, just to be clear, what is it exactly you'd like the congresswoman or or uh, yeah, the other folks you're talking to to do? Is do you want them to write a law, or what is it you're asking? I want. Well, of course, you want someone. What is the to put MNA? MNA wants just what National Nurses United wants because we're the same. We're all part of the same organization, and what we want is support from the legislature for such a tax. That's what we want. So no matter who ends up introducing it, we want support for it. The concept is beautiful. People in this country, the majority are behind it. We know that. People talk to us all the time. We've been traveling. We've been asking and bringing this forward. They know what caused the situation we're in. So if the American public wants it, Bachman is always fond of saying the American public wants this, the American public wants that. I think we as nurses know what the American public wants. They tell us and they are solidly on board with this, and she should put it forward, and she should support it. Why did you come here today? Why did you come here and kind of make fun of her? Do you think you're going to get her support by making fun of her? Well, you know what? I think that we have kind of gotten away from the street theater. As I said earlier, it's an attempt at humor. People should be able to laugh at themselves. You you know, I don't think Michelle Bachman has ever laughed at anything we've said about her. <laughs> However, you know, those words, some of them were exact words that came out of her mouth. And she says very clearly what she stands for, um, who she's fighting for. That's what we're doing. We're telling you who we're fighting for. It's everybody in this country that works for a living. These are all our patients or prospective patients. Those of us who are lucky enough to still be working, as many of our nurses are, we're supporting several families now because everyone's laid off. I don't know how they expect them to survive. You could talk all you want about personal responsibility, but when society is set up so that you can't be personally responsible, what are people to do? Jean, what are you uh, how, how do you get the message across to the American public that even the people that aren't in this wage group, aren't in this salary group, still seem to oppose raising taxes on wealthier people? I think they clearly don't understand what's been done to them. The people that do, um, it, it's very simple to get them on board. You know, those are the people that are joining us at these actions and then write to us. We have a website, nationalnursesunited.org. And on there we have share your stories, you know. One thing people are afraid to do is talk to us. They're embarrassed. They are ashamed. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the mortgage payout, they did do their, their study afterwards, and what did they find? 85 to 90 percent of those mortgages were offered to people who could have afforded a usual. They were led into this. They, they, they were hooked. They were hoodwinked. They were calm. Has anything been done about it? No. And then you look to Wall Street, where they don't make anything. They don't produce anything. I mean, we are in a service profession. We used to have an economy here that uh, dealt with um, manufacturing. Those things that they're doing do nothing but harm. They're even harming some of those Wall Street owners. Not everybody is among the wealthiest ones. So people can get behind that when they understand what's being done to them. And the people that are coming to us for education are angry that they've been put in. So that's what I would do. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Thank you, Michelle. We're going to end our live broadcast.